As the game that Nintendo made its name known by and the first thing I ever praised on Game Design Diaries, you'd think you'd know what's happening next. And you'd most certainly be right. Super Mario Bros. for the Famicom and NES is a pretty fun platformer. No, it's a downright incredible platformer. And I think it's an essential game for anyone who's interested in studying video games in any capacity. The controls are slick and the gameplay is simple enough to understand just by playing it. Overall, it's a very fun game that's also pretty long compared to its contemporaries, which were mostly never-ending arcade games. The level design is among the best in all of gaming, and said levels are scaled difficulty-wise pretty well to how far in the player is. There's eight worlds with four levels each and a ton of secrets to boot. If you want to know just a little more about how cool just the design of the very first level is, I'd suggest checking out entry one of my game design diary. The game's wordless tutorial of forcing the player to explore the game's main mechanics to progress is still to this day one of the greatest levels of any game ever made. There's not much else to say other than there's a reason it's considered one of the greatest games of all time and argued as the game that saved the games industry in the West, as it most certainly did. No, I will not elaborate. The designs, colors, and music are all great and endlessly iconic, but they still look a little dated, but they've aged like fine wine. Overall, the game is pretty great, and not only do I recommend it, but I argue that it is an essential game.